Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, some time ago, um, one of our subscribers actually asked me this question: How do I turn my WordPress website into an app? All right. So I promised him this video. So this is how um we're going to do it. So all right, you have a WordPress website and you want to turn it into a app all right first of all let's let's deal with this is a example wordpress blog can be any our uh, website basically like it's just like any other thing any other thing out there all right so you want to turn this into a um app first of all let's go through your options you have free websites that claim that they do that one of the biggest ones is a uh, geyser um a uh, geyser is that geyser i think it's geyser i don't know carried so anyways what these uh these these websites claim that they do it for you i use a uh, geyser before or uh, whatever their name is that's sometimes before i was coding but what i hear with it is the fact that you don't get the level of customization you'd probably want from it if you were creating your own app so this video is not about using these services this video is about creating your own app from your website all right so you know for this you won't be using this service at all although it seems to be much improved since the last time i used it some years ago but as i said it's not about this it's about doing that so first of all let's get into it you need to have content on your wordpress site i think that goes without saying that you <laughs> need to have content all right so you have your content and then the next thing you do you have to get your wordpress website ready to become an app so in order to do that like anything else in wordpress you will need a plugin so let's get to our plugin so go to your dashboard and we're going to be looking at looking for a particular plugin so you go to plugin and you go to add new and then you go to double p mobile I think that's mobile I think I spelled mobile wrong oh there's a <laughs> Mr. B <laughs> it's WP mobile pack all right so it's supposed to be the WP mobile pack plugin Alrighty, so what you do next is just install it. It should do all the work from its being installed. So we're waiting for it to install. <laughs> Takes a little while to install because as I said, it's a mobile um, pack. So you get all the good stuff all in one plugin and the funniest thing about it is the free it's free and the free version is pretty good so you don't have to necessarily pay for pro but if you want to pay for pro you can but in in its in its free version it's pretty good all right so we're going to activate it all right they start to advertise like almost instantly not an issue and you should see it over here in your far left corner and they ask you to choose a theme so let's click on a theme you could actually use your quick start guide if you want so I'm clicking on the quick start guide they say customize your more blah 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 edit your app settings blah 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 blah, blah and all kind of stuff anyways back to app themes and the app theme really refers to how you want your app to look so they have some premium ones and they choose one for you 
so um, we're working with this one that they chose seems pretty simple all right then you have look and feel which is almost the same exact thing I don't know why they had it under look and feel but it's pretty the same thing all you're going to be doing is customizing your color theme your color um, themes for your menu and stuff like that and right now we're not getting into that that's not necessary and you have your content in terms of how your pages are going to look and what pages you want to be included in your mobile app or mobile site depending on which one you want so this is what we have and you can actually take it off or you can keep it on so basically we are set up from our WordPress um, um, standpoint we are going to now get into our Android studio all right so we're ready to go into our Android studio but before that let's just look at what how our responsive website is going to be looking if you notice you don't see that giant black um, footer that most WordPress sites carry even when they're in their responsive or um, mobile view they normally have that giant black footer with a whole bunch of site links so you can tell that it's still a website this um, mobile um, WP mobile pack takes away that giant black um, footer that really looks unseemly if you're using an app all right so let's get into where we are going to be doing most of our coding because we're done from a WordPress standpoint so we're just going to be opening Android studios now by the way guys you need a copy of this URL which is the URL to your site so copy the URL to your site you're going to need that and chances are you should know it by 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 now because it's your site after all so anyways let's minimize and get into Android studios all right so we're on a new application it can be I'm going to call this my web my web app all right um, a company something can be anything so we'll just like next um, next again doesn't matter and let's just start from my empty activity next again by the way you could actually do something with a navigational draw but um, for the purposes of this tutorial we're going to keep it very simple so we're going straight to empty activity next and my main activity is always called main activity I'm lazy like that so it's just going to be main activity and finish and it's going to start building out your stuff so I'm going to pause a bit until it does that okay so basically this is the setup we're in our main activity where we're going now is into our um, our activity XML basically and you know that our activity XML is basically our layout so we have our default hello world here I think I've already told you hello already okay world so you don't need any more hello so we're getting rid of that and we're going to be putting in our our um our web view so let's just hold our web view and throw it in there so this is our web view let's resize it you can size it to however you want it you can size it that it fills the page you can name it whatever you want to I'm calling mine um, webs yep keeping it simple straight through and basically you can choose a theme here that actually takes away this 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 border that says my web app if you want to let it look proper but for the purposes of this tutorial I'm too lazy to do it so we're just going to be working with this so now that we have a reference to this the idea of this is webs or I think it's webs yes it is webs all right cool you can have it to um to match parent or fill parent or whatever 
So I'm saying I'm too lazy to do that. So let's get straight into the main activity Java, which is what you wanted to see in the first place. So let us make a reference to a web view in our onCreate. So it's web view and I'm calling this web one equal I need a find view by ID R that capital R that is R dot and R dot ID and webs. So you know that's in there. Cool, 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 cool. So we already set up already you know. So basically you now what we want is a reference to our site. So that's what we're going to be doing. So we have webs, which is our our web view. And we say load URL. And our load URL that we're going to be loading is our website URL. Alright, that's mine. It's pretty long. So I wanted to say to bring you to the exact site. So this is it. And you you include your HTTP in this. So if it's HTTPS, then it's HTTP S R colon slash slash your website or it's http colon slash slash your website whatever it is all right next thing you want is to make sure that whenever they click on a link in your your web app it doesn't take them out of the web app it keeps them in there because one of the worst things you could possibly do is to create a web app and somebody clicks on a link and it opens a browser if you don't want a browser open so there's a trick that we're going to be using to keep you inside the browser so let's do that now all right so to do that you have your web view so and ours is webs dot set web view client and our web view client is new Web view client. New web view client. Let get let's get rid of one of that new. It's only one we need. And it will import itself, so it should be in your imports up here. So okay, there it is. And that trick stops it from opening your links in the default browser. But hey, there's something missing before that. Before we have web view load URL, which is your URL, we want to, if you want to enable JavaScript, you put whatever your web view's name is, that get, get settings. And in this, we just simply say, enable. Or is it just, it's not enable, it's, let me see, you end your bracket here, and you got set JavaScript enabled, and then you just simply put in true, and true is spelled the regular way. For all those persons who can't spell, <laughs> it's spelled the regular way. So basically, right now we have JavaScript enabled. When we have our web view dot get settings dot set JavaScript enabled and true, so that should take care of all your JavaScript on your website. And we're now and we can load our URL, and we have all our links being open in right where it is. So there's only one more step, step step not step 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 there is one more step that is left out of this thing and that is to make sure that your your um manifest your android manifest has the ability or to open web pages so you need your website permissions so that's 
pretty much what we're gonna be doing now adding our web permission and it's pretty simple so you're just basically at your android manifest um, xml find that and you just simply type uses permission and it's almost finished already android permission that internet pretty much that and then you end it with a with a um uh, less than sign that is or greater than sign whatever one of those <laughs> just copy the code you see right here so zoom in somehow and pretty much that's it you're ready to go that happens all right so this is our website in the form of an app what you notice is we have our drop down navigational um, menu thing and then we have our categories or whatever pages or whatever you set up and the beautiful thing is you have your it's nicely illustrated and the app draw looks pretty good and you can get into each post the way you want to and see each post so it's good all right i think i just closed it by accident <laughs> you can always run it again in the emulator so pretty much that's how it works so hey for all those who wanted to know how to do to to turn your <clears throat> your wordpress site into an app simply without using any of those online services that probably have some hidden charges or if it's not a hidden charge it's probably some some trick or some loophole this is how you do it all right thanks for watching if you like this video and if it was simple enough and if i didn't bore you to death you can just simply click that like button or share it to somebody who really needs the help and comment Remember, if you comment, it actually makes me more motivated to actually do videos like this. And if you have a particular video you want to see or something you want to explain, you can just leave it also in the comment section. Because this video was actually a comment someone left in the comment section. And I told him I was going to do the video. So here you go. Video is done. Alright, thanks for watching.